Soldiers patrol the streets of La Paz as supporters of Morales protest in Mexico City, where the former Bolivian leader arrived Tuesday morning. I want to tell you, we're extremely grateful because the Mexican president has saved my life. Morales resigned Sunday after weeks of turmoil, sparked when the three-term president claimed victory in an election that critics say should have led to a runoff against former Bolivian President Carlos Mesa. The Organization of American States said Morales rigged the vote. Amid the unrest, he lost support of Bolivia's military. The Mexican foreign minister called it a coup d'etat. The armed forces hold a press conference and ask him to resign. This is called a coup in any country of the world. The opposition leader, who has declared herself interim president pending new elections, denied the allegation. No one has asked him to leave. He left voluntarily. She promised to maintain stability. The White House applauded Morales' departure, which it said reflects the will of Bolivia's people. Elsewhere in Latin America, supporters of Venezuelan leader Nicolas Maduro said Morales, who was his nation's first indigenous president, was the victim of a U.S.-backed plot. But Venezuela's opposition leader said change may be coming to the region. I don't know if it was a breeze in South America or if it was a Bolivian hurricane of democracy, but here today I feel a little breeze in Venezuela of freedom. I feel a breeze of justice. Mike O'Sullivan, VOA News, Los Angeles.